All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, before I begin this lesson, of course, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakodash. All right, also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, and many blessings unto the elect. All right, it's your brother Aitazawam coming back to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai with another lesson. Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. All right, we're going to get right into it. You know, I was just scrolling online, you know, just trying to, you know, get some inspiration for a lesson. Um, you know, and I um, came across, you know, this video where it says um, Hurricane Helen death toll hits 200. Search and rescue missions still continue. So it's been about a week um, since the hurricane came through uh, Florida and up, you know, up through the interiors of Georgia, parts of North Carolina and Tennessee. And uh, through that path, there's been a total of over 200 deaths. And as I was reading, the, uh, not reading the article, but looking, you know, listening to the video, the only thing that I could think think of was, man, the Lord is just getting started. You know, so the Lord is just getting started with this place. The judgment that you see happening throughout the four corners of the earth is not even the pinnacle of the judgment that the Heavenly Father is getting ready to bring. And this is going to put a lot of fear in the world. OK, when the Heavenly Father really shows his power through his prophecies and through his judgment, you know, the world is going to be in fear. OK, as a matter of fact, the scriptures tell you that. OK, then shall they be in great derision. OK, as a matter of fact, let me get that in the book of wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to just pull it up on my phone. All right. Scripture speak about that. That's in the, uh, the book of wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. OK, <clears throat> we'll go right, right to it real quick. All right, Wisdom of Solomon 5, starting at the top. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Now, who is the righteous man? The righteous man are the Israelites, all right, starting with the elect, because the elect is going to be the ones standing in great boldness, all right, pursuant to the book of Revelations, where it says, um, you know, and great fear fell upon them that stood on their feet. That's talking about the elect, okay? So the great, the, those that are going to stand in great boldness are going to be the elect. And that's who you see on the highways and byways, week in and week out, prophesying um, the destruction of America. Okay? It says, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Meaning when they see the salvation. Because the Heavenly Father is going to bring a very, very strange salvation to the planet Earth. Okay? By way of what the world calls UFOs, which are actually the chariots of Israel. Okay? And inside of those chariots... Are so are, are angels that are you know they manifest in the flesh they would be so called blacks, so called black men, okay. So that's the uh, the salvation that the Lord is bringing to the earth, okay. It says um, <clears throat> and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So the Lord is just getting started, okay. The things that you see happening on the world, although they are catastrophic, although they are intense. And they are, um, you know, considered, you know, judgment of biblical proportions. It still hasn't reached the climax of what the Heavenly Father is about to do. Because he's going to bring this whole place low. Before the, before the missiles hit, every, everybody that's here in America is going to get brought low. Okay? The Lord is going to bring this place down with a strong overthrow, man. Okay? Let me get this quick scripture. <clears throat> All right, this is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 26. And I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city. He layeth it low. He layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. Now, what is the lofty city? All right. Primarily America. Okay. That's the lofty city because the majority of these people that you encounter on a daily basis, they're very heady. Okay. They're very arrogant and conceited. Okay, and the Lord hates conceit. Okay, the, the, you know, the, the, this world is, you know, full of people who self-consume, man. Okay, so the Lord is going to do what? He's going to lay it low. He's going to bring it even to the ground. When the missiles hit, America's going to be flattened. Okay, the scripture said that he shall not leave a stone upon another. Okay. And that's 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 a that's some heavy judgment, man, with the type of terrain that's here in America is very hilly, very mountainous, 
okay, throughout the Appalachians and, you know, throughout the Rockies, you know, certain parts of America, the terrain is, is you know, is, is, you know, up and down. And the Lord said he's going to flatten all of that. That's heavy. See, the Lord, when he bring, when he talks about judgment, man, the Lord talk big. Okay. The Lord don't talk, you know, small when it comes down to his judgment. The Lord talk big because the Lord is, is omnipotent. He has the power to do these things. So he's going to bring it even to the dust, man. The Lord is going to lay this thing flat, man. The missile's going to hit and go straight up and down, clean up all the elements, man. Okay. So Hurricane Helen did, did a number. I believe they said that this is the, uh, the fourth largest hurricane to ever hit America. Uh, as far as, you know, death, you know, the fourth deadliest, Salakia, the fourth deadliest uh, storm in the history of storms. Man, 200 people, man, that's a lot of people. Okay? I believe Hurricane Katrina is the deadliest. You know, there was thousands of people that died in that storm through the breach of the levees. But with this storm, man, this storm hit, hit hard, man. There's probably going to be a few more hundred left, man. Okay? So the Lord is going to bring that lofty city down to the ground, man. All right? Verse 6, the foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. Okay? So this thing, hey, prepare for more events, more catastrophic events. I know this sounds redundant and repetitive, and we say this all the time here at Great Millstone, but that's what we do. We continue to push the prophecies, the same ones, over and over and over again. And that's why they come in the past, and it's gripping you people. All right, this book of Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 12, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low. Okay, so everybody's going to be brought low, man. A lot of people pride themselves on their jobs. They pride themselves on their careers and their degrees, all right, their physical stature. Okay, a lot of people have the abs and you know, the, the whole six pack, the whole get up. A lot of people uh, had a beautiful women got these beautiful faces and, you know, bodies and all this and that. And the Lord said, what? Everybody that's in that spirit of pride and loftiness and headiness is going to be brought low. Everyone, man. OK. And it's going to be a beautiful thing when you how about Shemal Shah does it. OK. Because these are very these people that we're living amongst. These are very injurious you know, deceptive, non-merciful, incompassionate people, man. They're self-consumed. Start with you Edomites, because this is nothing but the fruit of Esau anyway. So the Lord going to get down. Okay? Thus said the Bible. Yahweh Bashim is going to get down, man. Okay? And the reason why the destruction hasn't really hit full-fledged like the scriptures tell you in Revelation 7, okay, it says, um, hold back, the, the angels are holding back the four winds of the earth until the elect of the Lord is sealed. So once the elect is completely sealed and it's time for the judgment to go out, then chaos is going to be breaking out all over the place, man. Okay. Job 40 and 12, look on everyone that is proud and, and bring him low. So, yeah, there is going to be an economic collapse. And I'm just hearing through the grapevine that they reached an agreement between the uh, the International Longshoremen uh, uh, Union and, the, you know, the ports. So they reached an agreement. So pretty much the strike is over. But look, man, that's just that's just the beginning. There's still going to be shortages. There's still going to be an economic collapse. There's still going to be a transition of, uh, um, of uh, um, you know, buy, selling and trade. It's still coming. Okay. It says, and tread down the wicked in their place. Hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret. So, Lord, man, man, how about Shemal Shah is going to do a work in America that's going to far exceed anything he's ever done to the wicked. He's going to make an example out of you people, man. Which is why I wanted to entitle this lesson. Uh, 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 you know, the Lord is really just getting started bringing judgment on this place. You know, the, the, the amount of injustice that's been performed here in America, the amount of deception, sorcery, witchcraft, 
okay? Uh, um, scamming, murder, and rape, robbing. Okay, all the shit that's going on here in America, you people think that you, that the Lord, yeah, there's some favor. The Lord has, has found no favor in, in, in you Americans. The only favor that the Lord finds is his elect, and his elect is coming out of the spirit of Babylon the Great. That's why the scripture says, come out of my, come out of her, my people, and receive not of her plagues. Okay? And how do we come out of America? We come out of America with our spirit. We, we, we stop doing the things that these Americans are doing on a daily basis, man. Eating the shit that they eat, celebrating the shit that they celebrate, doing the things that they're doing. Okay? Scripture says, flee yourself out of the midst of Babylon, man. In the book of Jeremiah. The things that they're doing here in this world, you don't want to receive the plagues of these people, man. The Lord's going to get them. And you see he's boosting their heads up. Social media and all these different outlets and platforms. You know, the money is being just loosely pushed out to people. So everybody feeling themselves, man. It's a lot of disloyalty. It's a lot of adultery. Betrayal. Double and triple crossing. A lot of bullshit going on in this place, man. So Yahweh Bashimah Shai going to come back and clean it up, man. With a swift destruction. Okay? So let Hurricane Helen... Be a be a be a, a a a lesson, which we know is not going to be a lesson to the wicked, because scripture says, "For scourges are sent for amendment, but for all these things they shall not turn from their evil ways." So the same must know it after death by pain. So the Lord know that you got some knuckleheads out here that just got to fucking die. You know, they just got to get brought down real low and then put to death, man. And then the the the, the you know the Israelites. You know, that don't make it, this go around will repent, okay? In the spirit world, and they'll come back and be and inherit the kingdom of heaven. But for now, man, that they're slated for judgment. The Lord is not coming back for all of his people. The Lord is only coming back for a select few, which the Bible calls the elect, okay? It's going to be a beautiful thing when Yahweh Bashim Shai start to perform judgment on very, very high levels. We sick of this goddamn place, man. Waking up and, you know, and, and continuing, carrying on with this whole get up. You know, we ready to see people get bought into judgment, but we know that the Heavenly Father works on his time. and Therefore, we must be patient. OK, the scripture says what? Let patience have her perfect work and your patience possess you your souls. OK, I'm just quoting the number of scriptures right now that's come that the spirit of the lord has given me to quote you know for you brothers and sisters you know but it gets vexing being here among these people and trying to keep your sanity and not you know you know uh, spaz out but the lord know what we can deal with the lord know what we can take okay and we're in proving grounds right now we we have to prove to you how about you my shy that we believe so we have to go through certain things but as far as those that are outside of the spirit of the Lord and outside of the truth, the Lord is going to bring some very, 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 very harsh conditions upon you real soon. The Elder Apostle Gabar been bringing out 2025 a lot, man. That could very well be the year where shit gets sticky. It's, uh, Isaiah 47 starting at the top. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Okay? So the Lord's going to bring them down. He's going to cause them to sit in the dust. The dust represents the confusion, a confused state. Okay? If you ever see a plow or a plume of dust, you know, you can't, you have no vision. Everything is, your, your vision is skewered. So it's making an analogy for America. There's going to be confusion out here. Because Babylon, the word Babel or Babylon in the Hebrew means confusion. And this is the land of confusion. Okay? So it's going to get like that. All right? It says, take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover thy locks and make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Meaning basically expose this place for what it is. Because there's a lot of secrecy and a lot of hidden sorcery and, you know, crimes that's been committed. And the Lord is causing his laborers, his prophets, his servants 
to 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 reveal it. And in that revelation is is going to bring about judgment, man, because this place needs to be judged. But obviously, if, if, if the spirit of the Lord didn't bring the heavy judgment yet, then guess what? That that means there's more work to do. There's more exposing to do. There's more that need to come out. So that's why we have to continue to work the work. OK, it says make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. And nakedness is a thing of shame. Sin should be a shameful thing. So the nakedness that it's talking about is the sins of Babylon the Great that has reached unto heaven. Okay? It says, um, Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Because when Yahweh Shah comes back, guess what? He's going to come back in his glory, in his angelic form, in his chariot. And he's not going to come back as a man. He's going to come back with power, like it tells you in the book of Revelation, that white horse. So Hurricane Helen was catastrophic, but guess what? It's going to be more catastrophic events and more situations that the Lord is going to bring on American soil that's going to really, really cause this place to plummet. Okay? So, you know, that's pretty much, you know, the point of the lesson I wanted to get into, man. You know, just watching... Dad, and, you know, listening to brothers in the group chat. And man, I was just, man, the Lord is just getting started. A lot of these people think that everything is going to be okay when they reach these different deals and solutions and they, you know, increase the debt ceiling and all that shit, man. That don't, that don't mean that this place is out of the hot water. So with that, we give all praises once again to you. How about Shima was shy? Bashim Kakodash. Hey, double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, honors, many blessings unto the elect. Until I hope you pray that you were edified, um, Lord willing, until the next lesson I say, Shalom.